Welcome back to the six o'clock show where we're going to go live to Rome because we're seeing pictures of the victorious Italian team uh, as they make their way through the streets. And we've just been hearing in our ears that they've been going mad. They're going mad with the Euro Cup. Can we see them there in the bus? Uh, we no, were able to see them. We're with the crowd second. now and we've lost them. They were cheering like mad jokes a minute ago. I don't know where like they've the gone. Yeah. They've gone for a cappuccino. Oh, no. but they're oh, behind the flag. It, yeah. We'll get them. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, the now. flag. Oi, sorry. Uh, but they all flag. look like Irish flags, don't they? And, and what the member, I think it was uh, the, Inta the Italian ambassador was on saying, our flag looks like your flag. There we Fly go. them. Fly Great them and support Italy. Lads, you can see them, but all you're looking at is a really nice Italian flag. So, you know, there we go. They're having fun in Rome. Uh, we are going to make some donuts with Owen Clossie from Bread 41. Hi. We're making donuts. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good, I'm good. good, good. Yeah, back at it again. We're using a yeasted dough, similar to last time. Okay. Yes. Probably exactly the same. <laughs> but it's a great dough. I, I just can't say this enough. It's a really good dough because it does multiple things. And I think when baking and some people don't want to learn a lot of things, if they have this one thing they go to, they'll just keep using it. So it does multiples. I showed my sister a banana bread about seven years ago and she's still making a banana bread. That's her thing. And that's her thing. I can just yeah. do banana It's her bread. yeasted dough. Where do you yeah. get yeasted dough? So yeast, fresh yeast, again, Eastern European shops or any good supermarket. Yeah. So why um, Eastern European shops? Because they still make bread. They still bake at home. They redo it. And it's a great shop to go into. Ask about your flowers. Ask about fresh yeast. A couple of recipes. A couple of, And they really like sweet buns. So this is technically a sweet dough. Gotcha. Okay. So it's very, very simple. It has. And I've just mixed it ahead of schedule there. It has. <clears throat> 500 grams of flour. Now, yeah. always strong flour. Why? We're looking for a bit of pro high protein content, so a bit of strength in it, so about 12 to 13%. So strong flour, that's your go-to. Okay. Yeah. I've added the, the milk, 300 grams of milk. Little trick with the milk, just add 80% uh, of it first and mix the dough slowly. It'll come together a bit quicker. So yeah. sometimes you don't be standing over a mixer for 10 minutes. Go, go, go. Adding the rest of your ingredients, your sugar, your sugar, your salt, a little bit of butter. Now that's a little bit of butter. This is going to give us... This is really, really small. It's going to give us about 18 donuts, so it's small. What? Oh, right. So they'll be on to me. More, more. But we can put it in here, Martin. There we go. Don't all, worry. Don't that's worry. We'll add that after. This is just the start. <laughs> so all I've done is I've the ingredients together really, really slow. And when this is together, and how is it? People will say, how is it together? How do we know when it's needed? By hand, it, it will build strength. In the bowl, it will come clean from the edge of the bowl. So a couple of tricks. When bread making or bacon, it will come clean. Okay, come clean okay. from the edge yeah, of the Yeah, the bowl. edge of the bowl. So the dough is starting to get strength. So we're looking to build strength to the dough. After this, we're going to either put this aside for a roughly an hour to an hour and a half. Okay. Again, depending how warm, how... Or the best tip is, if you can do this a day ahead, just pop it in the fridge. So if okay. you do this work on a Thursday, you can pop it in the fridge, shape your donuts when you come home from work on a Friday, sit down, watch the six o'clock show. Nice one, then, well done you. And then um, portion up and prove. So when this comes together, we're going to take the dough out. Here's okay. the one I did earlier. So we're looking for this, yeah. doubled in size. And again, same Has as before. Has that been proved? This is proved. So when you take it out, it's doubled, it's actually doubled in size. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So again, with the flour. Okay. And how do you so, so in the fridge, we don't need to wrap that in, in, in a little anything. bit, a, a little bit of something on top. Yeah. Stop it, uh, stop it skinning. So when I talk skinning, you want to keep the moisture of all that work you've done in the dough in it. So stop okay. it drying out. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, it's so so something on top. Really right simple. Now. You've got your dough together. And if you have a weighing scales for donuts, we're looking for hundred grams per portion. Okay? okay. So really simply, if you, you can, again, you can cut half it away. And all we're doing is look, little rounds. Really easy. And you see, and he makes that look so easy. I'd lose, I'd, I'd say the tops of two fingers. <laughs> I know, yeah. Down, two hands together. Yeah. And we're just going to go this way, all the way around. Right. Hang on a minute, are you able to go in two different directions when you do that? <laughs> not that good. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. <laughs> I can't do it. Whoa! Wow, there's multitasking that's and there's multitasking. Right. 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 One foot and then, yeah. No. Who'd have thought? Let's Again. not go there. Yeah, look, there we go. Look, six quick downs, right? Okay. I did these guys here that are resting, or proving, second prove. Proving, second prove. And all I did was pop them under. Okay. I feel as if I've stepped into another baking dimension here with all the proving. Okay. Yeah, it, it, pe it's people get caught up in this proving. What do I do? When do I do it? You're mixing the dough. So proving is allowing the dough to rise. Yeah. So we're adding a little small bit of fresh yeast. The dough is doubling in size. But don't get lost in that. If you can master this dough, pop it in the fridge. You can take time out. This can be start to finish 15 minutes. So day one, yeah. five minutes to bring it together. Pop it in the fridge. Go off on your day. Day two, portion it. And literally 45 minutes later, it's ready for oil. It's ready to go. Okay. okay, so we're doing a fryer. We're frying. Okay, 
Couple of things about frying. I would love everyone just to have a deep fat fryer. <laughs> I'm not crazy about pots on counters. Okay. Um, it's in, in a sense for me, it's just uncontrolled. People are with tempered temperatures. Remember, it's hot oil, you know? In houses and homes, we have kids around, so I'm yeah. just a bit, I like the fryer. Controlled, set it to temperature, does all the work for yeah. you. But if you don't have one, you know, it's hot. If you don't have one, actually, if you don't have one genuinely with the donuts, bake them off. Just oh, pop okay. them on a tray, put them in the oven, put the oven to 200. Right, because we, do, we don't have a deep pot fryer in our house. Great, yeah. So we yeah, have to just get the these oven. guys, pop them in the oven. Now, all I'm doing, look, is the seam, the bottom of the donuts on this, that's all I'm doing is look here, I'm popping it in. Watch this now. Then again here, and we're looking for two minutes either side. Two minutes either side. Yeah, so what we're looking for is the donut to cook. You don't want that raw center, so you need it to cook. It's about two minutes at 190 in a fryer. So these will take a second. They'll pop up now in about 60 seconds. Okay. So while that's happening, we'll set this aside. Again, rest that these guys are lovely, so you can see the difference from yes. two minutes makes. How they pop up with all there of the stuff go. that's there. There's the stages. Okay. Ready to go. We've got about... Okay. A minute 30? A minute 30. Whoa, I think that we've we got. Go. I think, I think and then. We are. Look what happened. Yay. There you go. Have this three fillings jam, lemon, <laughs> vanilla. Okay. Oh my God. Now, Martin, you said <laughs> earlier on the, you have to go looking for the filling. I'm going to toss it in sugar. Yeah. A little bit of sugar. Here we go. Can you hear the audible gas from behind <laughs> the camera from people who are watching this right now? Now, we'll go jam. Yeah. <laughs> You all right, girls? Are you having a moment, are you? Uh, yeah. We'll go vanilla. What's the vanilla? Vanilla's just vanilla? It's just a vanilla bean, vanilla cream. Very, yep. very simple. Okay. I might do a session on um, fillings. Just really important. Again, yeah. jam. Believe it or not, you make these in the bakery, sell them. Everyone just wants to jam. Yeah. Jam. I used to be said, if you can actually eat a whole jam done without licking your lips, you've won. <laughs> so whatever that means. Who's up for that? <laughs> Who's up for that? Yeah, yeah we've, got, we've, got we've got one taker. We've got one taker. guys really quickly so you can see. Turn them over. See that? Now, there we go. Don't. You just flipped them over. Oh, look at them there. And how Pillows long after joy. they're out of the fryer, you just let them rest? Yeah, let them rest. Actually, let them rest 30 seconds. Snip them with the scissors, fill them. Delicious. Done. Warm. Ready to go, is Job that it? Done. Hey, wow. Warm donuts. All Guys, done. you've been gasping. Can you please give them, can we have a bull of buff? Thank you very much. From Bread 41, you're going to make a few more there, are you? Uh, I better make a few, there's a... <laughs> there's a few. Oh, They'll be in. I'm, I'm just about to say. <laughs> yeah.